it's Sarah. I have a project share and haul video. Today I am going to be doing a tutorial probably on this guy, um, but I just wanted to share. I've been dotting. It started with the ornaments I did for Christmas and um, it's just snowballed because when you go on Pinterest, so you can do a basic dot pattern like this, Christmas trees. I did the traditional mandala shapes that you do. You just keep growing and growing from a center point out with dots. But then, I mean, I just get inspired when I see things. So the hamster hands are what started it. This started it. I cut these on my Glowforge and I just started playing around. The lighting is kind of okay, cool, because the background of this one I did in a metallic black and when you look at a lot of the um, inspiration on Pinterest some of them are done with mosaics they're done with tiles or beadwork a lot of them have jewelry encrusted in them so I just it just started to kind of my mind just started to play with the all these ideas um, so this is the first one I did this is like a little Jesus fish this one was inspired by one that actually I think was either carved or done in clay. It was sculpted, so it was very dimensional. Um, that was my first attempt. Then the second one, I didn't outline it. See how I outlined this with the dots? I didn't do that, and I just started at the bottom with the mandala um, pattern. I kept the eye, and then this is very um, common to see just circles of dots without all of the fancy schmancy stuff up here was kind of representative of um, stars and a moon that's oh dear god the dogs are back hi girls anyway and then I just put the flowers the the leafy stuff is very cool too so I'm I'm getting better I'm starting to practice um, so then from there I went to these crosses these were are from Hobby Lobby which I went to Hobby Lobby I have a haul where are they um, I got another pack these are their wood pile and I believe uh, all of the wood I got was 40% off so the wood is on sale at the moment which was a good thing because I got other things I want to show you so I did these I also the other day I got these this is a pack of like little um, signs. I was going to put words and then dot around them, so I haven't really played with that yet. I'd love to have an example to show you, but I don't. I have a sugar skull ready to go as well, which I'm probably going to do today. Um, cut this on the... Oh, I'm too zoomed in. I'm so sorry. Cut this on the Glowforge. Um, base coat it flat black, and then I use my... Um, gold leafing pen so after doing these I had I, I remembered I had one more cross you, you might remember that I did a cross for Rachel and when she had her baby and it was I wood burned it and I put like big uh, pink flowers and leaves and there was a dragonfly on it well this is a smaller version that I had in my stash and I thought well I am going to kind of take this and bump it up a little bit and so I did this so I, I think I'm gonna do a um, tutorial for you on this one I have the um, Susan Bates I believe they're called crochet hooks a lot of I think Joann's had these in stock when I went there I was at when I was at Hobby Lobby they did not have this specific set there um, and actually this is two sets this is um, a small set of five I believe and um, a, a, the bigger ones are a set of four and they're great because they kind of just go down in size so you can just pick up the next one and uh, I have stylus sets too that I I think I ordered on Amazon which have dotting tools on the end I think they're for like nail art and stuff too so um, I did see this at Hobby Lobby and decided to give it a try. This is by Yarnology. I'm not sure if it's Hobby Lobby's brand. Let's see. It's made in China. Yeah, I, th I think this is um, Hobby Lobby's brand. 
So it's a version of the set by Susan Bates, and um, I wanted to try them because they're not flat on the bottom. They do have a rounded bottom, but I don't see why that's going to be a problem. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna play with that a little bit. These were $5.99, and I don't think they were on sale. Um, so I got um, this as well at Hobby Lobby. I thought they were separate. This was on sale, and it was in the kids department. I thought the face wasn't attached, but I feel like I could get it off, but it's, um, I think I would break it, but I like the shape of these crosses, obviously. I feel like I could still paint, or like paint the whole thing black. I think I'm still gonna do it. So you get two face, two, ooh, these are a different shape. Two love. And to hope. Yeah, so they're all three different shapes. So I'll probably play with these. It just looks like fun to... Um, and because I go to Al-Anon, and it's very much all of these words apply when, when you're doing recovery work. Um, faith, hope, love, they're very important. And um, the cross has become a symbol for me now in my life, so I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot more. Um, since um, I've just let go of a lot of the dogma that goes along with it. Anyway, um, so uh, what else did I get? Okay, so let me set these aside for one second because I wanted to talk about paint. I ended up getting another bottle of black because I'm going to need it when you see the big cross I did get. Um, I bought this one last time and then I just got another one. And I did get a couple of, let's see, I got, I, I thought I got another, I did. I got two extreme sheens, which were, oh, three, because I wanted to try them. Um, they're basically Decoart's uh, metallic line. They're called extreme sheen. And I have, when I do my top dots, this right here is the blue. I knew I had the blue called sapphire ruby amethyst and emerald right exact so I didn't have the emerald so this is not emerald this top dot here is a uh, green that was just a craft smart metallic so I'm gonna use this on my emeralds I love that I mean it doesn't make it not an emerald but I wanted to see what this looked like so I'm gonna recreate this and because I was designing it on the wood as I always do, it I can tweak it a little bit. Like I, I think I would center my pearls here a little better. Um, probably not gonna top dot my pearls because I really like the look of just the white paint. Or I may just use the pearlescent paint alone. I'm not sure. Something about top dotting them, it just didn't. I don't know. It makes them look, they look so more pearly like this. Anyway, um, this, the red, I used, it's called um, Gloss Enamels. Now, I tried to find, the only color they had was a black in the Gloss Enamel, in the Deco Art, but I, I managed to get it in Folk Art. I got purple. It's an enamel. What's it called? Perfect Purple. I did get the cobalt hue in enamel, which it's just a, more of um the finish on the paint is more glossy. And then um, I just got a purple. Oh, why did I get this purple metallic? Dang it! I got two. I got two metallic purples. I didn't realize that. They're a little different. Hey, listen. I love purple. It's fine. Um, but anyway, so either I can just use the enamel and, and leave it. Like, I don't need to top dot it with the metallic, or what, what I was using was a pearlescent. Um, but I didn't have a green gloss, so I'll use the flat. Watch, this is what I used, which is a gorgeous green. I love this green. Where is it? Um, here, holly green. And then with a top dot of that, it's going to look really pretty so 
um, that's why these come in handy but if you have an enamel or a gloss to start with you're not going to need um, so where is it this is a gloss this is a gloss it's enamel or gloss see it's gloss acrylic paint when they call it enamel it's gloss enamels so all the brands do it um, so these I wanted to add some amethyst I love purple and I just this one I just went with blue red green gemstones and pearls but I have so many crosses right now I am going to be I'm gonna make a cross out of all amethyst I don't know like I just love amethyst so and there's so many I mean blue topaz there's so many colors you can incorporate but this just I just wanted to make it look regal you know like an actual really important piece so the other thing I wanted to mention was in the background I dotted the whole entire thing with just straight black because I feel like that lends itself to mosaics it almost looks beaded or cobblestone -y, you know so I did sh flat black here but then over here I did the metallic black and that's why I wanted to try the gloss um, it's just going to give it a different look I'm not sure that it's really right for a background but it could be like a black onyx like this could be like a gemstone I don't know that it would look right on here but like for my sugar skull I'll probably use it on my sugar skull um, this I was just going for a certain look um, but then I wanted to show you so that's all the paint I got and then this I ended up getting because the wood was 40% off I got one of each size of all the crosses they have another version of a cross that's a more um, it's this they have this version of the cross in all four sizes too it's a little less triangular it's more straight um, but this one kind of is more the most like it out of all these but this is my favorite shape I just really love the shape so here's the littlest this is the one I did so this is the one I'm gonna do the tutorial on same size this is the uh, 12 inch so it's 12 inches tall this one is 8 inches this one is got to be 18 I don't see oh 16 and then the big guy is very big 24 inches I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this this is incredibly big um, just gonna have to think about it a little longer and really work out my design um, look at some things and and kind of condense things so maybe I could do a much wider border like I could do a whole border of gemstones so a certain size emeralds all the way around it right and then have like a double line and then that brings the actual design into a smaller area you know so in, in other words this I just did that little one thin border um, this one I was trying to make it a little wider border so something like this on this guy where you put gemstones in between um, I think that'll help me not have as much of an overwhelming amount of space to fill you know um, alright so I'm gonna be back with um, the tutorial for um, let me put him here so you can see with a tutorial for this guy right here and all you're gonna need is some paint you don't need exactly what I have at all you can wing it and do your own thing look at all these different variations of a cross like you just put a dot and you keep it moving kinda like mandalas that's why you know this one's the most sparse I didn't put very much at all just like oop, that's all the wires from my camera you know a big one in each corner and a few down the middle boom you know and a little centerpiece so you don't need this big guy to do it with which is the what 16 inch? no this is the 12 inch you can just get you a little one like this or even just dot on um, 
a blank you can draw across on like a piece of this like something like this and just start to play and and get the idea of um, what it feels like okay that's it um, I'll be back thanks for watching